Nigerians. This is the voice of Shika Utaji Najari, the Akomo Agbekoya worldwide. I give glory to Almighty God for giving us another opportunity to witness today. As I'm giving this VN this morning, I'm not happy. Since about four or five days, people have been asking me what happened at Kogun. We are not happy. I say, yeah, it's because my people are dying. I received several calls on a daily basis with bad news. My ears always hear bad news from my people. I received some messages that ah we just lost someone now he's a subscriber he's a ceo he's a bond word ah even though when the, the president of uh, bondo edona called and told me the people they lost uh, uh in fact i was done you can continue in this way i've tried my best to make sure that we get everything done perfectly but at times it is what they, they show you you will know the bible says two heads is better than one in uaag we have people that have powers we are powerful men we are powerful women we have captains general lawyers businessmen businesswomen we have honorables a lot of people that have been calling me that they used they always tell me that they call me because of my maturity. That if we need any help, they can also call me. They can be of help. But I always tell them I know the little. That's why in my VN I said, what we are doing is not a secret court. I don't know why we are still facing problem up to this moment. A leader that always hear bad news from his people and keep silent is not a good leader he's a bad leader the reason why i did not come out for a, a week now that people has been saying the money has landed uh, the ego has landed this and that i don't like to give people bad news I always come out when I hear good news to tell my people this is what is happening. And through my voice, uh, a lot of testimony have been coming in. Some people will say, this is my voice that saved their lives and uh, I'm happy about that. So I don't want people to come out and say, my voice make them sad or my voice kill people. No. That's the reason why I remain silent because I know what is going on. I said in my VN, last VN, because of the promise on ground that uh, uh, signing of MOU and uh, broadcasting this and that, which you will expect is very soon, which I believe is supposed to happen this week, and nothing happened again. But I'm crying inside. I always say this, if you deceive the masses, you cannot deceive God. 
God is there to pay everybody according to what you do. No one can go scot free. Some people will get this money and they will not spend it. That is the truth. We have been deceived a lot. Hiding things at times always kill whatever is supposed to happen. I remember during the time of Reverend Warachuku, we always go after them to ask what is happening. They always keep it for us until when it ends that they have been scammed. You might think, or some people might think they know better than you. some people, but they don't know nothing. We get connection throughs, through a VN. A lot of people used to call. As I am with my personality, at least I know what I can do. A lot have been calling crying. I know how much I do spend on daily basis. And at times when some people call that I can't give, it pains me a lot. At times when people are calling, some people say, ah, these people are scammers. They just want to collect money. I say, ha, ah, if someone can call and said, he won't do his 500 naira, 1,000 naira, let me eat with my family. Uh, I don't think that should be a lie. And if he's lying, that means that person is lying because of he's himself. I is if I go. I'm not happy. In this time, white people are crying, and the leader will come out and say, ah, laughing, dancing, happy. That leader is not a good leader. I feel for my people. I'm crying inside. It is God that knows my heart, if I lie. People around me knows what I'm talking. I can no longer sleep again. I always think about my people. And also about uh, Bondu owners. I've been saying this. I've seen this ahead. That this thing will cause huh, a lot of trouble. Because Bondu owners, they have tried a lot. Some are, some when well, some people are even collecting names, they arrested some of them, and also bond owners. Some people paid a lot of money to their NGOs. Some sold their houses. Some sold their cars. A lot of bond owners have reported a lot of people to me, uh, trying trying to play trick on them. See. It might be because of all this that we are still facing what is happening. Because the money is not already got into our hand. We are playing, we are trying to play smart on the people that help us. Why all this? Some NGOs are not receiving calls again when their bond owners call them, they don't receive call. <clears throat> and the reason why. I'm blaming UAG on this is that they used to call themselves, they called them during Tilbert Closer Head. And UAG said they are not using Closer Head, they changed it to Bondu Head. Okay, as they change it to Bondu Head, most of them believe they are relevant, that UAG has something to do with them. That's why they change it from Closer Head to Bondu Head. That is the truth. Don't like. Telling lies. So, and sometimes they go when NG, and some NGOs will be calling to support, they go back to their bundle owner to tell them that, see, this is what we need. 
we have to do it they will still go ahead and some of them will go and borrow some NGO will even threaten them that if you don't give this money this is what will happen to you i'll remove you i will do this i'll do that these people will still go eh? go and look for money give to them and the reason why i'm saying two heads is better than one bible said it too if we come out if we come together and sort things together we can make sure we we'll find out we we'll find a way of making them relevant i said in my vn i said one of my vn i said no matter how much you want to give to beneficiary why can't we cut it let's say 60 40 or 50 50 so that ngo will know how to handle their bond owners when uh, there was a time they called NGO that they should submit their bundles while some NGOs are submitting 200 150 300 1000 that's why at times to keep silence it kills why can't you AG come out then and, and say to the world that these people that you people that are uh, uh, submitting bundles we have nothing to do with bundle owners then why can't they come out and say it but everyone was silent. If you come out and observe something, they say they don't send you. And this is what I'm seeing. I've seen this ahead that there will be bloodshed in Nigeria. Because bond owners, they have their own, uh, uh, they have their, their groups and they are very strong. Even more than NGOs, they are very strong. So I think that's why I said, okay, now the country director was there. Ustada who was the one that coming out to tell us about what is going on right now. And the, the time I called the bundle owners, we they they they, they came they visited me in my hotel, the escorts, we held the meeting. On that day I called uh the country director he told me they have something for them and i don't know how what they have for them they are very happy on that day that's why we are demanding for uag template let us see uag template what they have for bundle owners and what they have for beneficiary we all know the beneficiary are very important whereby bundle owners are more important because they spend a lot of money the truth is bitter and also in the vn i heard that some ngos will get five some will get four some will get three i think at this junction is there any ngo that is more important than other ngos this is why i'm saying this as if we put us together we'll sort this and there'll be no problem I think NGOs must be treated equally because if I'm an NGO, you give someone five and you give me three and I get to know, it will cause problem. This is why I'm saying this, that before there can be an AVN released, you think about what you want to say. I say some people will get five, some people will get three, some people will get for what? If there is special NGO, let us know how you categorize them. It is better we find solution to this before uh, this was going. I know, I very, I know very sure that we will get this money. And also, I cannot stop people again. Monday is the end. I cannot stop people. Not to come out to say their mind. If it is government that is delaying, let people come out and ask the government, why are you delaying that money? I think that is the better thing for now. I've tried all my best to calm people down, not to do this for a long time. They always listen to me. I appreciate everybody. May the Lord bless you. All the fighters that have been calling me, that's okay, it's because of me they are holding their 
they are they are people may the lord bless you all those that give me respect may the lord bless you all i said it in last my in my last year i said if i come out again and and tell you people not to come out lay us on me i understand my word So I've tried my best. And God even God that living, a God that creates heaven and earth knows. I've tried my best. And I think we need to hear from either country director or the president of APGN. We need to hear from you people. Because we don't really understand what is going on. Enough is enough. A lot have been calling me since the day they said the money has landed. Ah, I should come out and say something. Because I know what is going on. I cannot come out and tell people uh, uh, the truth. And at the end of the day, some people will start having BP. Some people will now go and say, ah, I will poison myself. That's why I remain silent. But at this junction, I have to come out. So at least this, this, this the uh, APGN president have to come out to tell us what is really happened. We don't need to close our mouth. We don't need to hide things. If you people tell us the day we are going to get this money, no one can stop it. Devil can never stop it. You say keeping it is the is the is is the is the main thing. And as it, uh, at times you you tell people like us, we know how to talk to the masses. The masses are not happy. People are dying on a daily basis. People are crying. You at times you see people calling, calling, and you see their baby crying on the ground for 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 hunger. A lot of people borrowed money to support. Why all this? That's why I say it's, it's not a secret court. This money is not a family thing. It's not a family money. This money belongs to Nigerians. And the reason why we are just closing our mouth that we want to do want, want to go uh, and start all over is because for it not to be for something not to block another thing. That's why we are calling. Let's know what is really happening. Let's know the area you people need 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 uh, Need, need, right, let's know where you, you need assist assistance. We are not happy. We are not happy. I'm not lying. Me, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And God knows my heart. God knows my heart. Me, I cannot stop the masses again. So it is better for you to come out. The country director is there, the spokesman is there. It is only Ustad Dawood that come, is coming out to tell us what is going on and which people are not happy about it. But if you people bring people like us in and we come together, we are not looking for name again. We are not looking for name again. What we are looking for is for us to get this money. I don't know the reason why we, are, we keep hiding these uh, uh, things like this. It's not a secret court. This money belongs to Nigerians. Why all this? I'm still using this opportunity to beg the APGN president and the country director to come out to talk to the masses. It is very important. For us to know where we are. God bless Nigerian. God bless the federal government. God bless the masses. And I believe by God's grace, God will pull smile on the faces of the masses. Bye for now.